to throw it down the circle of pain on the mats in AAA wrestling. The Washington Eagles against the Lowell Cardinals. We got a good one right out of the gate to start off AAA wrestling coverage. With Washington's Mitt Coloma scoring two on the takedown in the 160s. Lowell Scott Denny getting two on his own of this takedown here. And then just when it looks like Colomo's taking control, no, it's Denny reversing for two. Colomo getting it done one more time, but in the end, it would be Denny winning the minor decision, seven to five. 171s, we've got a wild one with Sam Barry going in for a deuce, but check out Washington Silas Kwong looking to apply the pin, but Barry the reversal, and now he's trying to lay the shoulders down. Both of these guys, when it looks like they're in peril, seem to come away with it. Look at this, stacking him up from the lower position initially, but then Kwong, who seems to be in control, finds himself in trouble to Barry, who will look to lay down the shoulders and apply the pin. Oh my goodness, Lowell is already up 9-0. And in the 189s, the Cardinals remain in control. James C. taking this one for two. Second period, Eagles, Coleman, Resenberg got the leg lock on. Oh my goodness, that looks like a scissors. And finally, the hammer will come down. That's a pin and six points for the Eagles. We've got game on, folks. Let's jump all the way around to the 103s where Washington's Andy Lamb is scoring two right here, and then Lowell's John Eugenio trying to flip his man and stack him up, not gonna be allowed as Lab puts his man on his back. Lab winning this one, eight to four, Lowell up 15 to nine overall. 112's Lowell's Andrew Yip putting the foot to the head, and then Washington's Kenny Lim will take control for two and do more than just that with the reverse right here. Oh, it's Lim with a near fall at the buzzer. We're gonna go to overtime, folks. And in OT, Lim is able to escape for the one point and the match. Oh, Lowell is up as a team, 18 to nine. 119, Washington's Eagle getting the takedown and the deuce. But then it's Lowell's Annie Nguyen, the reverse for two, fighting hard. This is a really hard working match between both. Here she is working for a man, ends up on top of great, great position for the pin. She's squeezing, picks up three for the near fall. Strength and technique, but you gotta talk to the Eagles in the end because here we go, a reverse for another two of his own. Sweep the leg and score. Too much Karate Kid right there, I think. And too much Washington on this one. The cradle is gonna be the deciding factor, giving Washington the win, but look for Andy Nguyen, come all cities. And look for Jason Lee, who's in control in the 125s, a first period application of the pin. Lowell up 24 to 12. Let's get on to the 130s where Lowell's Dustin Kwong with the takedown. And again, it's gonna be Kwong picking up another two points in control. Kwong flattening his opponent, finally scoring the pin. Lowell up big 30 to 12. Oh, where is Washington? I'll tell you. They're in the 135s, Damon Jones, Getting some work in against Lowell's Lewis Wong with the reverse right here. Leapfrogging to get himself in a solid position. Jones scoring another two. But talk about your close contest. Mr. Wong will eventually come out the victor by 1.8 to seven. 140 is Daniel from Lowell getting off to a good start and quickly is gonna go a little further than that, applying the pin, Lowell's team, awfully tough. Cardinals looking so solid. Let's go to the 145s. Lowell's Jacob Clinton has his man wrapped up, but Washington's Ernest Tong rolling over into a power position. Oh, folks, we got a turnabout, and where we go? Still in control, Tong is gonna roll his opponent for the near fall, and doesn't look like he's gonna be satisfied with that. Clayton able to move this into the second period, but that would be it. Take down and more for Mr. Tong. Talk about applying the pressure and the shoulders to the mat if he can. Oh, he can. Tapped out, we're done. Washington on the move, looking to climb back into this one. And they sure do with the last match of the day in the 152s. Dimitri Strong from Washington, aptly named, off to a quick start and working his opponent. Strong scoring another two and more. Rolls his opponent for the pin. Washington Eagles very strong in the middle of the order, but overall it's the Lowell Cardinals taking the day and possibly sending a signal to the rest of the AAA. I feel like today we wrestled a fantastic dual meet against Washington. 
We came out, wrestled hard, executed our technique, and did everything that we were supposed to do, and we came out on top. Our team chemistry is fantastic. We spend a lot of time together and really have fun at practice, not only perfecting our moves and becoming a better team uh, in condition and technically, but we, we bond together and spend a lot of time together and just enjoy the practices because of each other's company. Washington is our second biggest rival, so beating them was definitely a step towards getting the All-City Championship. And our biggest opponent that we need to overcome now is Galileo. And if we beat them, we can probably win All-City.